Ever heard of an insect that shoots boiling hot chemical spray from its abdomen? Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, prepare to be amazed by the real-life superhero of the insect world, the bombardier beetle. This tiny creature, usually found in grasslands of North America, boasts a defense mechanism that's nothing short of spectacular. When threatened, the bombardier beetle uses a unique chemical reaction to produce a near-boiling concoction, which it then sprays from its abdomen with pinpoint accuracy. This isn't your run-of-the-mill bug spray. This is a scorching hot chemical cocktail that can reach temperatures of up to 100 degrees Celsius. So, how does the beetle create this extraordinary defense mechanism? Inside the beetle's abdomen, two separate reservoirs hold hydroquinones and hydrogen peroxide. When the beetle feels threatened, it combines these chemicals in a third chamber along with enzymes that act as a catalyst. The result? A rapid chemical reaction that causes the mixture to heat up and vaporize. This explosive reaction propels the hot spray out of the abdomen and directly at the predator. The spray isn't just hot either, it's also toxic, causing irritation and even temporary blindness in its targets. It's a double whammy of defense. Imagine being a predator, thinking you found an easy meal, only to be greeted by a face full of boiling toxic spray. In a world teeming with predators, the bombardier beetle stands its ground with this boiling hot defense mechanism. It's a testament to the incredible adaptability and resilience of insects, showing us how even the smallest creatures can develop remarkable ways to survive. So next time you're feeling hot under the collar, just remember you could have it worse. You could be a predator facing a bombardier beetle. Do you think insects are tiny, negligible creatures? The Goliath beetle begs to differ. Welcome to the world of this behemoth of the insect kingdom, a titan that commands respect and awe. The Goliath beetle, with its name borrowed from the biblical giant, is undoubtedly a giant in its own right. It is one of the largest insects on our planet, reaching astounding lengths of up to four and a half inches. That's almost as long as a standard business card. If you've ever held a business card, you can appreciate the sheer size of this insect. This beetle, native to the tropical rainforests of Africa, isn't just long. It's also hefty, tipping the scales at a whopping 100 grams when in its larval stage. That's about as heavy as a small apple. Its adult form, though slightly lighter, is still a force to be reckoned with. But the Goliath beetle isn't just about size and weight. It's a marvel of nature's design. Its exoskeleton is adorned with black, white, and brown markings, giving it a striking appearance. The males even come equipped with a Y-shaped horn on their heads, used in battles for territory and mates. Despite its intimidating size, the Goliath beetle leads a humble life. It feeds on tree sap and fruit, and the larvae dine on decaying wood and vegetation. These giants are essentially nature's cleanup crew, playing a vital role in the ecosystem by recycling organic matter. The Goliath beetle's size is a testament to nature's capacity for diversity and extremes. It's a shining example of how life can adapt to fill every niche, no matter how big or small. So the next time you think of insects as small, remember the Goliath beetle. It might just change your perspective. After all, in the weird and wonderful world of insects, Size does matter, and the Goliath beetle is a living testament to that fact. It's the epitome of the phrase, go big or go home. And trust me, the Goliath beetle is definitely not going home. Ever seen a bee break into a dance? No, it's not celebrating, it's communicating. In the bustling world of honeybees, one of the most fascinating aspects is their unique method of communicating, the waggle dance. Yes, you heard it right, a dance. This complex ritual is one of nature's most intriguing examples of communication within a species. The waggle dance is no ordinary shimmy or shake. It's a meticulously choreographed routine that honeybees use to relay vital information to their hive mates about the location of a food source. When a foraging bee discovers a bountiful spot of nectar or pollen, it doesn't keep the good news to itself. It returns to the hive and breaks into an energetic dance. The dance is called a waggle because of its distinctive figure eight pattern. The bee moves in a straight line, waggling its body from side to side, then circles back to the start to repeat the sequence. The direction of the straight line waggle indicates the direction of the food source relative to the sun, 
while the duration of the waggle communicates the distance. The longer the waggle, the farther the food source. Now you might be wondering, how do the other bees understand this dance? Well, they watch and feel the vibrations of the dancing bee. Through this intricate dance, the bees can pinpoint the location of the food source, even if it's miles away. So this isn't just a dance. It's a complex language, a form of communication that has evolved over millions of years. The waggle dance is a testament to the intelligence and social structure of honeybees, a marvel of nature that continues to fascinate scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. So remember, when a bee waggles, it's not just a dance. It's a conversation. Can you lift 850 times your body weight? The Hercules beetle can. Now you might be thinking, 850 times, that's quite a bit. And you would be absolutely right. To put things into perspective, the world record for the heaviest weight ever lifted by a human is just over half a ton. But if we were as strong as the Hercules beetle, we could hoist more than 65 tons. That's equivalent to lifting 12 adult elephants. Quite impressive, isn't it? The Hercules beetle, named after the ancient Greek hero known for his incredible strength, certainly lives up to its moniker. This extraordinary insect hails from the rainforests of Central and South America. It's one of the largest beetle species in the world, but it's their strength that truly sets them apart. How does such a small creature manage to lift such heavy weights, you might ask? Well, it's all thanks to their exoskeleton. This hard outer shell not only provides protection, but it also acts as a natural weightlifting belt, providing the support needed to lift objects hundreds of times their body weight. But it's not just about brute strength. The Hercules beetle also has specially adapted limbs designed for gripping and lifting. Their front pair of legs are equipped with sharp claws that can dig into surfaces, providing a secure hold while their muscular hind legs do the heavy lifting. And why do they need all this strength? Well, in the wild, Hercules beetles often find themselves in battles over territory or mates. Being able to lift and throw objects many times their own weight can be a huge advantage when it comes to these beetle battles. So next time you're at the gym, spare a thought for the Hercules beetle. It's the real heavyweight champion. And just imagine, if we had the strength of a Hercules beetle, we could lift a whole herd of elephants. Now wouldn't that be something? Did you know some ants are ranchers in their own right? Now you might be scratching your heads thinking, ants, ranchers, how's that possible? Well, prepare to be amazed. Ants, those tiny industrious creatures we see bustling about on the ground, have a fascinating relationship with aphids. These two very different species have formed a symbiotic relationship that's as deep and complex as any in the natural world. Let's take a closer look at this intriguing partnership. Aphids are small insects that feed on the sap from plants. As they feed, they excrete a sweet substance known as honeydew. This honeydew is a delicacy for ants, and it's here that the ants' farming instincts come into play. Ants, in their relentless pursuit of food, discovered that they could farm aphids for this sweet honeydew. They protect the aphids, often carrying them to fresh, succulent parts of the plant, ensuring the aphids have the best grazing spots. In fact, they even go as far as to protect the aphids from predators and parasites. And what do the ants get in return? A steady supply of their favorite food, the sweet, sugary honeydew. It's a win-win situation, with the ants getting their food and the aphids receiving round-the-clock protection. But the ants' farming instincts don't stop there. Some ant species take it a step further, carefully tending aphid eggs in their nests over winter and carrying the hatched aphids back to the plants in the spring. It's a level of care and attention that rivals any human farmer. This remarkable relationship between ants and aphids is a perfect example of mutualistic symbiosis, where both species benefit from their association. It's a testament to the complexity and wonder of nature, where even the smallest creatures can form the most intricate and beneficial partnerships. So, in the insect world, ants are more than builders, they're also farmers. Ever mistaken a bug for a flower? The orchid mantis is hoping you will. Now, isn't that an intriguing thought? This master of disguise, the orchid mantis, is an enigma in the insect world. 
Native to the rainforests of Southeast Asia, the orchid mantis is a stunning creature. It's not your average run-of-the-mill bug. No, this insect takes mimicry to an entirely new level, masquerading as a delicate flower petal. But why, you might ask, would an insect choose to look like a flower? The answer lies in the age-old battle for survival. In the wild, being able to blend in is a matter of life or death. And the orchid mantis has turned this survival tactic into an art form. It uses its floral facade as a cunning strategy to attract its unsuspecting prey. Imagine being a pollinator, buzzing around looking for the sweet nectar of a flower. You spot a beautiful orchid and without a second thought you land on it, only to find yourself in the grasp of a predator. That's the grim reality for insects that fall for the orchid mantis deception. But the mimicry of the orchid mantis goes beyond just appearance. It's also about behaving like a flower. The orchid mantis stays incredibly still, swaying gently as if moved by a breeze. It's this combination of visual and behavioral mimicry that makes the orchid mantis's deception so effective. The world of insects is full of bizarre and fascinating creatures, but the orchid mantis surely takes the cake when it comes to the art of deception. It's a reminder of the intricate and complex strategies that nature devises for survival. So the next time you admire a flower, take a closer look. It might just be an orchid mantis in disguise. What's scarier than a bug? A bug wearing the corpses of its prey. Now if that doesn't send shivers down your spine, I don't know what will. Welcome to the world of the assassin bug. This insect, as its name suggests, is a ruthless killer. But it's not just the killing that makes this bug stand out. It's what it does after the deed is done. The assassin bug, you see, has a rather unique sense of style. It wears its victims. Yes, you heard that right. This bug takes the exoskeletons of its prey and attaches them to its back. It's an eerie sight, to say the least. Picture an insect, covered in the hollowed-out shells of its victims, moving about as if wearing a coat of armor. This gruesome camouflage serves a dual purpose. Firstly, it acts as a deterrent. Predators, upon seeing the assassin bug, are likely to think twice before attacking. After all, a bug that displays its kills so openly is not one to be trifled with. Secondly, this grisly attire helps the assassin bug blend into its surroundings. Amidst the detritus of the forest floor, an assassin bug adorned with the remains of its prey is almost invisible. This allows it to lie in wait, undetected, until its next victim comes along. The assassin bug is a master of deception and disguise. It uses the very bodies of its prey, not only as a shield, but also as a means to lure in more victims. An unsuspecting insect, seeing the familiar form of its kin, may venture too close, only to become the next addition to the assassin bug's chilling ensemble. So, if you thought bugs couldn't get any creepier, remember the assassin bug. It's a real-life horror story. Ever wished you could take your own air supply underwater? The diving bell spider does just that. One of the most intriguing members of the arachnid family, the diving bell spider, has a fascinating defense mechanism that allows it to live almost entirely underwater. Unlike most spiders that rely on land for survival, this ingenious creature has developed a unique way to breathe beneath the surface. This spider is named after a piece of old diving equipment called a diving bell, which was used by humans to explore the ocean depths before the invention of modern scuba gear. Just like the diving bell, the spider creates a bubble of air around its body, a feat it accomplishes using the fine hairs on its abdomen and rear legs. After spinning a web between underwater plants, the spider will then dart to the surface, trap a bubble of air in its web, and drag this bubble down to its underwater layer. This bubble attached to the web acts as an underwater breathing station, allowing the spider to stay submerged for significant periods. The diving bell spider's bubble acts like a gill, extracting oxygen from the water and expelling carbon dioxide. This allows the spider to replenish its air supply without having to constantly surface, making it an efficient underwater dweller. This remarkable ability allows the diving bell spider to evade predators and hunt in a relatively safe environment. It's a testament to the adaptability of nature, showing us that even the smallest creatures can develop mind-boggling strategies for survival. 
So, while we need scuba gear to breathe underwater, the diving bell spider just needs its own ingenuity. What's worse than a wasp sting? A sting that turns you into a zombie? Now that's a sentence to make you shudder. But for the unsuspecting cockroach, this is a grim reality when it encounters the jewel wasp. This shimmering insect, with its vibrant metallic blue-green hues, might seem beautiful at first glance. But don't be fooled by its jewel-like appearance. This wasp is a masterful manipulator with a chilling survival strategy. The jewel wasp, or the emerald cockroach wasp, has a venom that is more like a mind-control potion. But this isn't some science fiction tale, it's a fact of nature. When the jewel wasp chooses a cockroach for its next meal, it delivers two precise stings. The first sting temporarily paralyzes the front legs of the cockroach. Then, the wasp makes a second, more sinister sting directly into the roach's brain. This venom doesn't kill the cockroach. Instead, it turns it into a compliant zombie. The wasp's venom blocks the roach's escape reflexes, essentially putting it under the wasp's control. The wasp then leads the cockroach back to its burrow, like a puppeteer pulling the strings of a marionette. Once inside the wasp's burrow, the cockroach's fate is sealed. The wasp lays an egg on the roach, and when the larvae hatch, they consume the still-living cockroach from the inside out. It's a gruesome end for the cockroach, but for the baby wasps, it's the beginning of life. The jewel wasp's venom is a marvel of the natural world. It's a testament to the extraordinary lengths that creatures will go to ensure their survival and the survival of their offspring. So, next time you see a wasp buzzing about, remember it's not just a nuisance. So, if you thought wasps were just nuisances, remember the jewel wasp. It's a master of mind control. Ever seen a bug that could belong in a cathedral window? Meet the lanternfly. This remarkable insect has wings that are a sight to behold, a spectacle that would give even the most intricate stained glass a run for its money. Primarily found in parts of Asia, the lanternfly is a true artist of the insect world. Its wings are a canvas of vibrant hues, punctuated by intricate patterns, creating a mesmerizing mosaic. The lanternfly's wings are a blend of warm and cool tones, intertwined in a dance of colors that is as captivating as it is unique. These wings, however, aren't just for show. They serve a purpose beyond their aesthetic appeal. Like a walking piece of art, the lanternfly uses its wings to blend into its surroundings, a strategy that helps it evade predators. The combination of colors and patterns on its wings mimics the look of a leaf or bark, allowing the lanternfly to disappear in plain sight. But it's not all about survival. The lanternfly's wings also play a crucial role in its mating rituals. By flashing its wings, the insect sends signals to potential mates, essentially communicating its readiness to reproduce. The lanternfly's wings are not only visually stunning, but are also a testament to the intricate and diverse adaptations insects have developed for survival. They remind us of the boundless creativity of nature, turning a simple bug into a living, breathing work of art. So bugs aren't just creepy crawlies. Some, like the lanternfly, are truly works of art. So, there you have it. Ten bizarre facts about the weird and wonderful world of insects. From the bombardier beetle, the insect world's very own fire-breathing dragon, to the goliath beetle, a giant among insects, reaching lengths of up to four and a half inches. We've journeyed through the intricate dance language of honeybees and marveled at the Herculean strength of the Hercules beetle, capable of lifting objects over 850 times its body weight. We've witnessed the fascinating symbiotic relationship between ants and their aphid cattle and admired the cunning floral deception of the orchid mantis. We've cringed at the assassin bug's grisly camouflage, wearing the corpses of its prey and delved underwater with the diving bell spider and its ingenious air bubble. We've been both horrified and intrigued by the jewel wasp's zombie venom, turning a cockroach into a compliant puppet, and finally, we've been astounded by the beauty of the lanternfly's wings, resembling the intricacy of stained glass. Each of these facts uncovers a new layer to the insect world, a world that's as strange and wonderful as it is diverse. It's a testament to the marvel of evolution, showcasing the incredible adaptations and survival strategies these tiny creatures have developed over millions of years. Whether it's the boiling hot chemical spray of the bombardier beetle, the goliath beetle's impressive size, 
or the honeybee's dance language, each of these facts is a testament to the wonder and complexity of nature. But the question remains, which one of these facts surprised you the most? Was it the Herculean strength of the Hercules beetle, or perhaps the orchid mantis's floral deception? Or maybe it was the assassin bug's grisly camouflage, or the jewel wasp's zombie venom? Which one surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey into the insect world, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.